Here I stand, a man in command of my own destiny. For I ripped, ran, and hustled and landed on my own two feet. I run through the crowds in the street, for I am something that only a few can comprehend. For I am a street soldier. I guard my community by day and I party like a rock star at night. My next guest's reputation in the music industry cannot be denied. For he's risen up the ladder of success as a producer of radio, to a VP and a Jive Zamba, to the Motown family. For those that want to be in the know, he's a creator and entrepreneur of the music industry online.com. Who else am I talking about? No other than that strong brother, Mr. Carlos Acusta. But we here like to call him, aka Mr. Tone Capone. For those passionate artists that want to be the next, you know, that want to be the next big superstar, stick to your, follow your heart, you know, don't listen to other people. People will always try to deter you from your dreams, you know, but always follow your heart, follow your dreams, because if you can't dream, man, then, you know, then there's no passion in you, you know? I dream every day, I still dream. I'm daydreaming of winning that 200 million out <laughs> mega million, <laughs> you know? Um, now you have the dream, man, and for that entrepreneur that wants to be the next executive and wants to take my seat, hey, listen, man, everybody started somewhere, you know? Everybody started somewhere. I didn't start where I'm at today. I started being an intern. <laughs> so I say to you, go to school, get a high school diploma, go to college if you want, or get an internship somewhere. If you want to learn about the computer business and you want to learn about Google, go intern at Google. You know, you want to learn about Yahoo or MTV, go intern for those companies. That's the best way in there. I wanted to be a model when I was growing up, so I said, hey, I'm going to give me a job at Ford Modeling Agency. You know, and I, and I did. I got an internship over there. And I worked there, and I learned the business, and I was, it was cool. You know what I mean? I was like, wow, you guys are getting a lot of money to stand in front of a camera. You know? Before we get into our interview with Mr. Tone Capone, we're just going to say that any lessons taught in this episode of Music Ecology can be found in our book, Underneath the Chromatic Scale and the Music of the Elements charts. If you have any questions, log on to musicecology.com. New York, we've heard you. We're going to slow it down just a little bit so most of you guys can pick up a little bit more clearly on just what this is and how it's going to help you develop as a player. But before we do that, we're going to get into this video by one of Mr. Tone Capone's artists, Mr. Curtis Santiago. We feel you, Curtis. Like a Nubian god descending from Mount Kilimanjaro, this young palooka's destroying every contender that gets in his way. Nothing short of a subway train's gonna stop this kid. Let's go down to the ring, the fight's about to begin. Second round. 
Ladies and gentlemen, on this episode of Musicology, we have no other than the strong brother, Mr. Tone Capone. So let's get it started. So Tone, how long have you been in the music industry? I'm going on about 16 years now. From DJing, to working at radio, to working in the record business. So about 16 years that I've been in the business. What is your biggest career ambition? I think I've already accomplished it. <laughs> you know, my biggest career ambition was to be a record executive. And I did that, you know, like I, I, I'm doing it now, you know, and that was my goal. My goal was, you know, I started out in the DJing business and on air personality to, uh, damn, I see these record promoters coming up to the radio station with these records, hanging out with artists. And I'm like, wow, they got a fabulous job. I want to do what they're doing, but it wasn't, easy, it wasn't an easy business to break into. You know, it was, it was very difficult because back when we were trying to break into the industry, it was just, it was just being birthed. You know, it was in, it was in, it, it was in its infancy stage. And um, there weren't a lot of jobs in the, in the record business for urban music. So I kind of had to um, find another way in. And radio was the way in. I actually got hired to work at a pop radio station, WPLJ in New York City. And that was kind of my way into the entertainment industry. All the businesses, business of entertainment is all related. Film, fashion, music, all related. You know, so if you can get in one lane, you can slide right over to the next. <laughs> and uh, my, my biggest career accomplishment, co accomplishment is what I'm doing today, being a vice president of a, of a label that I oversee, you know, and that's my career accomplishment. And whatever happens after that, hey, let it be. <laughs> what is the musicindustryonline.com? And Music Industry Online is going to be a platform for artists. It's a one-stop shop for artists. You know, working in the music business for all these years, the one thing that we used to get a lot of is phone calls from artists, managers, producers on who to get in touch with in the building. How do I reach Dave Lighty in the a r department? How do I reach Wayne Williams? How do I reach Barry Rice? How do I reach all these different executives? You know, that's everybody want to reach the executive, the, the decision maker. And musicindustryonline.com puts you in touch with the decision makers. So if you want to get a directory on all the A&R reps in the music industry, go to Music Industry Online. You know, so it's music, www.musicindustryonline.com. And on there, you can find directories to all the sponsors from Ford Motor Company to Pepsi to Coke to Sprite to Heineken to, you know, to all the uh, licensing music supervisors at film companies, at the labels, anything you want, any information you want to self empower yourself so that you can have the resources that the labels have, the same resources that the labels have to break their artists are the same resources and tools that are on Music Industry Online. So that's what Music Industry Online is. So check it out, people. So how long have you been producing Street Soldiers? I think since 2001. 2000, end of 2000, 2001, till now. Still producing it this day. So it's Hot 97 FM Street Soldiers, the hottest talk on radio. And it's on the biggest radio station on the planet, Hot 97 FM, 50,000 watts, New York, New Jersey, Connecticut. It's hosted by Lisa Evers. I'm the executive producer of the show. Come up with the topics, ideas. Myself and Lisa, we sit down and brainstorm. Storm Tiffany Jones, our associate producer. Our production guy, Andrew. Our program director, Ebro. Uh, assistant program director, Jill Strada. They, they're passionate about the show, love the show. But we come up with... Uh, some, you know, some topics that, you know, are relevant to what's going on in society today. You know, what's affecting our neighborhoods, whether it be racial profiling, whether it be, you know, um, police uh, brutality, whether it be, you know, kids and education, whether it be the swine flu, like today we were discussing the swine flu. So, you know, whatever's going on in the community, current, current events, it, it could be world events. So that's street soldiers.
What is Street Soldiers?